The governor of Kentucky had trouble finding the words today to describe the toll multiple tornadoes have taken. The deadliest one cut a 365-kilometer path along the ground, destroying everything it hit. More than 80 people are confirmed dead, 74 of them in Kentucky. Other people are still unaccounted for. And those who survived have no home, heat, water or power in the chilly December temperatures. Jackson Prosco is in the small town of Mayfield, Kentucky, or what's left of it. Jackson? Well, Donna, the damage here in Mayfield is extensive and it's incredible. It's like this for block after block where houses have been absolutely destroyed. But it's like this in towns across Kentucky, and that means that people are not only grieving the loss of their own homes and possessions, but also of the communities where they live. Piece by piece, the Cato family is picking up what's left. Just so that we can get into the bedroom and get that stuff out. Their home in Mayfield, Kentucky was shattered by a tornado. The family barely made it to the basement in time. The door was ripped from my hand and we got around the corner and we were heading down the basement. All the kids were already down. My husband and I were heading down and all of a sudden we hear the front door fly through the front of the house and uh, we had just got to the basement floor when we heard the big boom and the whole house just erupted. Their house, their neighborhood and their entire town are gone. It was very humbling to realize everything that we had, um, we now have nothing. The tornado that struck Mayfield was a monster, carving a 300 kilometer long swath, part of an outbreak of storms that stretched across six states. More than 60 people are confirmed dead in Kentucky alone. Of the ones that we know, the age, the age range is five months to 86 years. Dozens are still missing, and hope of finding any more survivors is quickly fading. In some towns, three quarters of the homes have been destroyed. It's just uh, upsetting, you know, to know that that's the town that you grew up in and everything, you know, his memories is all gone. The buildings that survived are heavily damaged and surrounded by dangerous debris. Yet there is no shortage of people willing to help in one way or another. Okay, I need everybody to get down. This is video of one of Friday's tornadoes taken by Canadians Drew Taylor and Alicia Karens near Nashville. What we experienced was crazy. It was like almost like a freight train that went over the building. Their home was spared, and so they drove two hours north to Mayfield and started cooking for those who lost everything. It's yeah. one thing to see it on TV, but to see it like in person, it's pretty, uh, it's pretty tragic. In just the past few minutes, we've seen more search and rescue crews with dogs coming through these houses to make sure once and for all that there is no one trapped inside. But the job of doing that right across this state with so many homes and communities impacted is going to take some time. Donna, the governor says it could be a week or more until they know exactly the status of all those who remain unaccounted for. All right, Jackson Prosco in Mayfield, Kentucky tonight. Thanks.